You are watching Wide Field with Vivian Burchill. Welcome to Whitefield. I'm Vivian Birchall, your host, and with me today is a, a couple of teens from uh, Acton Baxborough, uh, Andrew and Charles, who have started the Acton Institute of Computer Science. Uh, welcome, Andrew and Charles. Could you please introduce yourselves a little bit more and uh, tell us about what computer, what the institute is all about? Sure. Uh, my name is Charles. I am an incoming senior at Acton Baxborough Regional High School. Our mission for our institute is to provide affordable, um, affordable computer science classes for uh, children, not just in Acton or, or in Massachusetts, but realistically around both the United States and Canada. Um, we've had a couple uh, students from, Ontar uh, from Ontario uh, register. Basically what we're trying to do is uh, we, we've made our classes free with the hopes that um, with the tuition that parents would have paid for these classes, they can donate to uh, charities that are located on our website. Before we dig deeper into that, uh, Andrew, your introduction. Oh. Hello, uh, my name is Andrew. Um, I am a rising senior um, at Acton Boxborough. And uh, yeah, I've been coding for about uh, seven years now. Um, yeah, and so yeah, again, we, um, uh, we started AICS here uh, because we really want to um, give the best education as, as high schoolers, um, we give the best education we can um, to um, as many students um, in the field of computer science, um, just because of how vital of a skill it is right now. Uh, and we want to provide um, uh, really good feedback to the students. Um, and as much, we want to teach as much information as we can to all of them. All right, thank you. Uh, welcome again to Whitefield. And can you tell us more about what programs your this um, institute is offering? Yes, yeah, so our institute is, our classes are divided into four tracks, um, otherwise four departments. They are Java, uh, that's one coding language. We have Python, another coding language, as well as machine learning and deep learning. Um, and so those four tracks have, uh, they have different uh, level classes, uh, ranging from intro um, to advanced. Um, and we hope that by instituting this, uh, this leveled system, um, students of all abilities are able to take our classes. And what inspired you to start this? Well, what we really wanted was a way to be able to teach one of, one of our favorite subjects, basically. So, so, so basically, Charles and I um, have had experience teaching before, um, and um, in the past, you know, it, it, it's been it's just been very, very, um, you know, in, interesting and, and really helpful. Um, I think for for personal growth in the first place um, to be teaching. Um, I think it's it's just it just made us um, you know better um, when we're just like when we're speaking and just when we're explaining things to other people. It just really helped us as well. And we also wanted to help other people. And we decided computer science was something that we both had in common, uh, something that we thought was a skill that we really wanted other people to, to, to really, we want to help other people develop. So we just thought that if we merge those things um, together, um, and since we've also had experience before, um, you know, teaching and um, te uh, being teacher's assistant as well um, in, in that field, then uh, we decided that it, was, it would be a good option to do that, um, just given how also how, how hot that this subject is right now, and just, um, uh, given that we uh, share this passion together. You mentioned that you have students from um, beyond Acton. How, what was your uh, advertisement strategy and how did you get, how did kids get to know about? Well, we didn't really have an advertisement strategy per se, but we did try to get this, get, get this idea, I mean, get, get our institution out to as many people as possible. Uh, we did use multiple social media platforms such as Facebook, uh, WeChat, WhatsApp, Instagram, um, and I believe there was one more. Uh, Andrew, you can fill in if you if you remember. But uh, we did we did try to spread it around as fast as we could, um, as wide as we could as well. And uh, you know, computer science, as Andrew mentioned, as as Andrew mentioned, is a pretty hot topic in today's society. So um, what we think happened is that uh, parents who um, parents recommended us to other parents as well, hoping that their friends' children could learn about this skill as well. And can you talk briefly about the assessment of the tutors or the teachers? How do you select them and uh, how do you decide who to take on as a teacher? 
Yes. So at AICS, we really try to pick teachers that we feel have that experience, obviously, in computer science um, and teaching as well. We want to make sure that they have that ex experience in, in, in both ways. Um, and so we definitely check. Um, and it doesn't have to be teaching experience necessarily in computer science, but some sort of teaching experience, some, some sort of experience of just teaching uh, other kids, you know, um, and they understand and they, they've definitely uh, developed the skills uh, for that already. Um, and we also, every, every, every teacher um, definitely also goes through an assessment, uh, which is what we call a trial lesson. Um, basically, um, they just, uh, they, did, they basically just teach the first lesson uh, for us with um, just a, a test student. And then we basically evaluate the performance. We give them some feedback um, uh, for next time. And then based on the performance, you know, we, we decide whether or not that, um, you know, they, um, they, they should be teaching here or whether or not we should give them some more practice before we really get started, basically. But we want to make sure that all our teachers are uh, well experienced and also uh, well prepared before um, they, they start teaching here. You have mentioned that your programs are starting, uh, I, th I think it was yesterday or the other day when we were talking briefly. Uh, you mentioned that your classes already filled up, you know, and uh, what do you see yourself, where do you see yourself and the Institute in five years time from now? I guess in five years time, we'll all be in uh, university, but we still hope to carry on our classes um, even, even, even in university because as, as Andrew has mentioned, um, we feel that computer science is a shared passion that all of our instructors as well as ourselves that, that we have um, for, for the world and for, for the community around us. Well, uh, it's an amazing job that you guys are doing, and I'm so proud of you, of course. Uh, one of my visions this year has been to engage, to elevate and image what the youth are doing, and also uh, encourage youth to take an active role in uh, the development of our communities. So this is one area that STEM is the way to go. There is no other way. So, well, there are other ways, but STEM is the way to go. It's the future. And so proud having you taking charge of such a program in our community. Is there anything else uh, that you would want our viewers to learn about you or the, or the Institute? What we just want everyone to know is that, you know, we're, the only reason why we're doing this here, we, we just really want to help as many people as we can. We want to help all the people that, you know, don't necessarily have access as well um, to, 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 the, to this kind of education. Um, we know that, you know, coding classes can be expensive right now. Um, and we, we want to provide, um, you, know, a, you know, obviously a, a very, you know, very affordable option, um, but also uh, a very a, a, a high quality option as well. You know, we are just high schoolers, um, but you know, we're committed to giving the, the best we can. Um, we're we're going to commit to putting the most effort that we can um, into all these classes and giving, you know, good feedback to all, all the students and, and teaching as much as we can um, to students of, you know, all, um, all abilities, um, even I would say um, a, a very wide range of ages as well. Um, we want to help um, everyone that we can um, using this using this institution that we've started and is there any other, any way that the community can support and help you guys yes yeah, so uh like i was saying um we do have uh, charities listed out on our website uh, our website is uh, actoninstituteofcs.org and under the registration tab there's a donor box um uh, sort of field that you can uh, fill out to donate to our uh, to, to, to donate to donate to these charities and 100% of all proceeds go to, uh, they're split amongst uh, these three charities. They're uh, the Miracle League of Massachusetts, uh, the Cambridge Health Alliance, and the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Viewers who want to help out, please feel free to, feel, please feel free to uh, donate on our website. Um, otherwise, uh, th there's no payment necessary for us because, you know, as, as we were saying, we're just, we're just, we're just high schoolers trying to uh, help out our, help out our community in uh, the most affordable in the most affordable way possible. Right, so again, I am excited that you guys are doing this. I'm proud of you, super duper proud of you. If you need any help, you're make, uh, spreading the word out in any way, just let me know. I'm here for you. I just wanted you to know. <laughs> and yeah. with that, um, if, if you want to learn more about the Institute, uh, is there an email that they can send uh, any questions to? Yes. Um, uh, so the email would be Acton Institute of CS at gmail.com. Um, that's our that's our company email um, that anyone can can email um, if they have any questions at all. Excellent. So please, if you're watching this and you're part of the community, can you you could reach out to uh, Andrew and Charles 
ask any questions, donate, and uh, let's make this a uh, success for the best for our future, you know, because this is our home, Acton, Acton Boxboro, and even Massachusetts and, and the United States is our home. So let's take charge like the youth, your great examples. And uh, more that's happening in the youth world, I think uh, you can reach out to us also at whitefield.vivian at gmail.com. Thank you for watching Acton TV. Till next time.